Okay, as you can see just now, basically we have inserted and we have formatted our references. So when you see the referencing, when you change the reference, there is instant formatting. All right, that means the format of the reference change. All right, and also when you add an article, the that is the change in the formatting itself. All right. Let us add another five articles here. All right, we can add another three articles here. We go back to EndNote. Go to EndNote, and we add another. We add these five articles. All right. So we go to Tools, decide what you write, insert citation. Okay. And you see instant formatting on. There is this is the. Another three articles, five articles. You can insert another one. All right, you can insert here. We go back to EndNote, and let's say we go to this one, and let's say we go to here or references. All right, you can go and insert this. Let's say this three reference. All right. Let's say these two references. Okay, these three, these three references we're going to insert. Tools, side where you write, insert into. Right. You see the time it takes for you, for you to insert and for it to come back to where you can use your Word document. This is Quite quick, but if you have more number of references in your article, or you have more number of references in your database, that you, the time taken will be prolonged. So to prevent this, to prevent your Word document talking to your EndNote and formatting it as we go, we can what we can what we can do is we can turn instant formatting off. So to do that, we can go up here on the menu bar of EndNote and turn instant formatting off. All right, and we can convert the citation to unformatted citation. You can see that this is called an unformatted citation. Let's say we want to add again. All right, some just some more references here. So what we go to go back to EndNote. All right, let's say we add five references, all right? Instead of three just now, we can tools, select what you write, insert in the citation. If you notice, the difference in the time take is very short. So now the time taken is very short compared to where instant formatting is turned on. So it is advisable for you to turn instant formatting off if you are working in a, with a very large document. Another good thing about instant formatting is that you can actually delete your reference when you are using instant formatting. Or you can copy and paste your reference during instant formatting. Let's say we look at these three, all right, two reference. We can just copy the two reference and we want to put it here. To make sure that EndNote recognizes it, we put a curly bracket at the start and at the end of the document and then it will be added. When instant formatting is turned off, you go to the bottom of your document, you will find that the references are not being displayed. Don't worry. The references will be displayed once you turn back on the instant formatting. All right. So how you do it? You don't have to turn. You don't have to turn on this all the time. You want to update your citation. What you have to do is just click update citation and bibliography, and your citation and bibliography will be updated to the format that you want. All right. This is New England Journal, and you see at the bottom of your page, you can see that you have actually all the article is there. All right. Can, you can see this. This is how 
a reference from a web page looks like the title, the year, access, and at which. All right. So this is one of the tools that you can use by turning instant formatting on and turning instant formatting off.